So you wanna make some proxies at home? Well, I've got the tools for you right here. Check it. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do this. I already make these pre-made so you can just literally take it and print it right at home. They come out every month if you're a Patreon member and I'm gonna go through the types of paper you can do this on and the do's and don'ts of what you shouldn't do and don't. Anyway, let's get to it. So here we've got the 20 pound, 30% recycled paper. This is just the one I did at home. Look how it's curling. Look how it's, it's very matte color. The colors are a little bit washed out. Yeah, it's not bad, but you see, you can tell that we've got our regular magic card and it's just the perfect right size fits right on there. I've already measured these things out so you don't have to. It's okay, you can put it in with a land card or something and it will work just fine. More or less free if you've got a printer. This is a nicer 24 pound, just regular old paper. See how it's pretty shiny. This is more of business class paper, still flimsy, but the colors are less washed out as compared to the other one. See how it's a little bit washed out there on the left. My printer gave it some lines too. If you get it printed at a professional shop like I got these ones, it'll be a little bit better. So we're going up in paperweight here. This is an 80 pound gloss paper. You can definitely tell it's glossy. See some you know, blemishes from the printer. Gloss always has more blemishes just because of the type of media it is and printers don't print as well with gloss. But compared to the magic card, right? It's way glossier, I feel like, than the actual card. It's 80 pound, definitely thicker, not as thick as a magic card. It is still pretty good though. Another one you could cut up and stick inside with a land card. Now we're getting to the 110 pound paper. This is pretty thick stuff. Look how it doesn't bend nearly as much as the other ones. This one is definitely pretty darn good. You could almost put this in, in by itself or just double layer this and you'll get a pretty good effect. This one is a matte finish, so it's not nearly as distracting as the gloss. I don't know if that comes across on the camera, but it comes across in person. All right, last but not least, look at this. This barely bends at all if I'm just flopping it. This is the 12 point matte business card stock. So this is like what business cards are made of. It's pretty darn thick. Uh, it's not nearly as thick as a regular old magic card. Magic cards are roughly 130 pounds paper versus this is the 100 pound, 110 pound paper we did before. So it's less thick. This one's getting up there. This one's almost it. So this is so close to being the thickness of the magic card. That's kind of crazy. If you can find a little bit thicker than this, maybe you can i went to office depot and they did not have what i was looking for but maybe a specialty print shop will this one you could probably put in a sleeve by itself now let's get into what not to do so this is our sheet from home again to test it look how cropped it is comparing the two look how much smaller death baron is there definitely smaller this was scale to fit on the printer settings do not do this if you do that look how much smaller these cards are you definitely do not want that. Here's another example. You definitely do not want to do this. And let me make sure you know how to do it properly. Uh, I'll give you an example right now. This is the treasure sheet that I just showed you. You can check this out on Patreon if you are a patron. If I go to print, go to my printer, blah, blah, blah. Don't want black and white. You can do black and white if you'd like. Probably not though. And all your sheets, da, da, da. Portrait, yes, do not do landscape. It might re wreck it. <laughs> I don't know though. Auto rotate, that's whatever. If you hit scale to fit, it will not do it properly. See how it, if you click scale, it splits it at 94%. That is not what you want. That's how you get this. It crops in if it's at 94%. So make sure that you set this to 100% and we'll crop it in. You can even see it on the image there. Back to 94, see how the, the margin is much bigger. Set it back to 100, boom. Smaller margin, that's what you want. That's how I've designed my sheets to be. And then you just hit print. How easy was that? This That's, that's all there was to it. It's really quite simple and make sure you follow all the instructions or else you're gonna get screwed over with printing too many times and using too much ink and all that crap. So I was sure to make sure to do all the testing for you so you didn't make all the same mistakes I did. Uh, hopefully this all helps you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss your weekly dose of magic. And be sure to check out my Patreon page where you can get these printable tokens just right there and other benefits as well. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs>